This is an example of a genuine World War One German trench club. Its uh, style is called the Gordon Dag type. It's based on a, a medieval Flemish design, but the Flemish design, the wooden haft will be about five feet long, and the bits on the metal end would be spiked. But to make it more civilized, the Germans rounded off the edges on their particular model. And the Germans, the French, and a couple of other countries were the only countries to have trench clubs factory made. That is to say, not made in the field by a soldier. They were actually made in a factory and sent out to troops. And this particular type, if you're going to find one nowadays on the market, this German Gordon Dag type is the one you're going to find. It's fairly common to find. And prices tend to fluctuate. If you can find one for two hundred pound, buy it. I've seen them priced between three and seven hundred pounds. And the good ones are now in collections, and there's a lot of bad ones out there. So we'll take a look at this thing. Obviously, for silent dispatch of somebody in trench raids, if the ends had been spiked then obviously they go into a human body and wouldn't come out again so they rounded them off it's a cast metal head it's held in place by one screw and another screw and that rounded off end there it's nice for just jabbing somebody with and then obviously that bit there is for smacking somebody on the head with Sometimes the woodwork can be regimentally marked and or dated. This one isn't. Sometimes it has the manufacturer's name on it. Sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, just a nice example of a First World War German trench club, trench mace, known as the Gordon Dag model. Based on a medieval Flemish design.